In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn any HDMI signal into NDI signal or NDI feed. Now, this is going to be super useful maybe if you're doing events where you need to have a camera that's sending the feed. Instead of using HDMI, use actually NDI. Again, if you use NDI, you know how valuable. So basically, I've got a little adapter from Osbud. It's going to allow you to turn any HDMI signal into NDI. And let me go ahead and actually show you how to do that. And we're going to connect to OBS as well. So let's not take much time. Let's actually get into it. What's going on, guys? My name is Sammy, watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. Now, the device we're going to be using, it's called Obsbat UVC2 NDI. I know that's a little contradicting to what I just said, but bear with me. So basically, this device is going to allow you to turn any USB signal into NDI signal. And as you can see, this is basically a USB type C kind of to power the device. And then this is another USB type C to connect your webcam. So basically, it's going to allow you to connect any webcam and turn the signal into NDI. But bear with me because I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with HDMI. And then this part here, this is where you're going to connect your Ethernet cable to actually be able to send that feed into the network actually for NDI. Now, it does support PoE as well, so which means you can actually power the device just you only using the cable if you have a switch that supports poe now next because this video is about turning an hdmi signal into ndi so i'm going to show you how to use the same device for hdmi signals so right now instead of having a webcam connect to the box which works by the way i already tested it if you want to do it you can do it you can simply connect the webcam directly into the box and it's going to turn that signal into NDI. However, if you want to connect an HDMI camera, what you're going to need is obviously you're going to need your HDMI camera, which is a camera that I have right here. It's my Mivoco camera. Again, any camera with HDMI output should work. Okay. So I've got my HDMI signal coming in. As you can see, this is an HDMI cable and it goes into a capture card that will turn into a USB. Now I have a USB female to USB type C kind of cable kind of like usb type a female just a second adapter if you want you can get a capture card that, that has already like a type c kind of connection okay but if you don't you can always use like this adapter and that adapter gives me a usb type c signal into the box right so this is gonna be your actual setup so this box does come with this kind of mounting points on both sides so you can mount it on a light stand or anything that has that type of mounting which is awesome so let's go ahead and actually go to our screen and I have OBS open. Again, you can use any other software that supports NDI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually add a new source, you know, to this scene. You can choose any scene that you want. So I'm going to hit a plus sign and I'm going to add an NDI source in OBS. I don't have to name it. I'm just going to click OK. And right now I can go to source name. And I'm like, I'm going to look for the box. It's going to show up as NDI adapter. I was bad. I'm going to click to it. And as you can see, I have a signal coming from my HDMI camera. So if you want to see, this is the camera right here. So if you want to see, this is the camera right here. And as you can see, it's connected actually using hdmi this is an hdmi signal coming from the camera and as you can see the delay is really minimal and the signal is actually super super awesome so now when it comes to pricing obviously you can see if you go to osbat website is actually at uh, around 400 canadian dollars so maybe in us dollars it's gonna be around 300 and something which is again it could be expensive for some people but it could also be affordable if you need this specific solution for your live streaming and it does support 4k and it's got some cool functions and features so you need to actually go ahead and go through everything but it supports h264 and h265 and codec and of course it supports up to 4k 60 frames per second and it goes down to 720 60 frames per second as well so you can go ahead and actually read i'm gonna leave 
all the links if you want to check it out i'm gonna leave the link down below if you are interested in, in it or if you want to read or actually purchase the box everything's gonna be linked down below and of course let me know what you think about the device but if you want to use ndi actually there's a new camera called the mivo the camera that i'm actually using right now for this video apart from having hmi output it actually has a built-in ndi function which means you can use exactly the same camera without needing to buy an extra device like this one of course the device does work for cameras that don't have built-in ndi this one does have built-in ndi so i've actually made a video showing you step by step how to use that camera the mivo code this is an interchangeable lens camera and can record up to 4k 30 frames per second and in that video i'm gonna show you how to set up this camera to connect to obs using usb using srt and using ndi as well so make sure to check out that video if you're interested i'm gonna I link it right here and i'll see you there guys take care